model today. We are going to dive into a yoga shape, a more restorative shape. Um, you could take an active fish, but we're going to go over the restorative version today. So props that you would need are two blocks at least and or a bolster. If you don't have a bolster at home, you can take a pillow from your bed, fold it in half long ways, or as we like to say, hot dog, and then roll it up in a towel or a blanket. And it's gonna basically make this cylinder um, shape that we have here at the studio. So the first option we're gonna go over is using just the bolster. So the bolster is gonna come north to south on your mat. Also, you don't really need a mat. You can just do this like on carpet or even on your bed if you wanted. And Marissa is going to lay back so that the middle of her back, um, let me move it a little bit more. Middle of her back is going to hit the end of the bolster. She'll lay all the way back for me. And our arms open out to the sides. Traditionally, palms face up is gonna feel really good for most of us because of this external rotation. It's going to open your chest up a little bit more. But if for any reason that doesn't feel good, palms can face down, of course. Marissa is partial to palms face up. <laughs> You'll notice she straighten your legs. You can straighten your legs. You could bend them and plant your feet um, flat. She could knock her knees together and walk her feet out for a constructive rest option. She could also find a Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together, <laughs> knees opening right and left. Um, yeah, and you'll notice her head is completely supported so it's not lifted off of here. What you wanna focus on in this shape is allowing yourself to accept the support from the bolster and the ground. You don't have to hold anything up here. You can essentially let your body melt around the bolster. So you could feel like your shoulder blades, your scapula are just like sliding and giving a hug to this bolster. You can let go of any tension that you're holding throughout your spine and allow it to hang down to the mat, your tailbone, connecting you to the mat. Another option with the bolster and one block, will you grab one of those yep. blocks, is making the bolster go north to, or um, east to west. When it's east to west, you want it to come at right at your shoulders. So she will lay back. I'm going to place this block above the bolster. Actually, it's right there. Um, and then there's a block that she can lay back that will support her head. And you can always, let's change this actually to the tall height for her. Go ahead. Yeah. You can play with the height of the um, blocks so that you feel supported. Same options exist with the legs. Her arms can go how they are here or she might even take them out a little bit wide, almost like over top. Um, it just depends on what feels most comfortable for your body. Okay, so let's say that you don't have access to a bolster, but you have access to blocks. Go ahead, grab that second block. We can use two blocks, or even one block in some cases for a supported fish. I like to set them on the same height to start. Your block can, again, go east to west or north to south. If it's going north to south, then it will start at the base of your neck and go down to about halfway. If it is east to west, it's gonna go right across the shoulder blades. So we'll start with east to west. Go ahead and lower down. Yep. And then that second block is available for your head. It can be on any height. It can be on the same height. It can be on a lower height. You know, it's really stretching for it. This is gonna open your neck. For some people, this feels wonderful. For the other people, it doesn't. You can lift up your head. Or it can go on the taller height, and you'll see her head is a little bit um, higher than her chest, but there's nothing wrong with that. We're still getting that opening across the chest. Um, so if you only have one block, you can still find this shape by putting it on its lowest height. She'll lower down, and her head lands on the ground. And that's all we got for you for our supported fish today.